Paper bushing up on the screen here in a PDF format. My client wanted me to test some diameters along the Morris taper based on the datum B that's at the bottom of the part. So what I've done in a previous module is I've gone through and I've constructed planes that were parallel to datum B at specific heights along this taper. The first one I'm testing would be in detail D here on the right side, the 60 thousandths radius. You'll notice here that there's the chamfer where it starts, right at the tangent. So there's some drawing criteria at that 60 thousandths of an inch off the datum B. That is 1 inch and 100 thousandths. So 1.1 inches would be that starting diameter of that taper as it's touching off on this chamfer here. And then the second height that they wanted to test is at this 269. And they've got a reference dimension on here of 1 inch and 89 thousandths of a diameter. That's what's coming out of this 269 height. So what I wanted to do, and I'll go back to my SAT file here, show you here from a side view that I've got some different heights. I've got a 269 height that's right here as I'm rotating around my mouse, and I've got this 60 thousandths height. And both of those were constructed as parallel planes from my datum B, which is the bottom of this tapered bushing. So what I'd like to do is go up to the Construct menu, and I'd like to construct a circle that is a plane intersect. Okay, circle through a plane intersect. I'm going to take a plane that I've already defined out there, and it's known as the chamfer plane at 60 thousandths. So I'll highlight that, and the feature that I want to use to construct the circle with is the Morse taper. That was the internal taper that I measured. I named it the Morse taper. And I will say OK. So here Farrell went out and it constructed a circle based on that plane at 60 thousandths and that Morse taper. And then what I'll call that is my chamfer circle. Now notice my diameter. It's coming out at 1.0987. And that is pretty close. Let me go back to my PDF here. That diameter is supposed to be this 1.100. So that would be my nominal. Let me go back over here to the SAT file then. And I'll go out to my nominal. And I'm only concerned with that diameter. So what I'll do is this 0.0, .0 or hand key in my diameter of 1.1. And I'll say OK. And I'll call this, this nominal here, I'll just call that my nominal chamfer diameter and say OK. Under the Tolerances tab, I only want to show my diameter, so I'll uncheck everything else or deselect it. And I'm not going to worry about tolerance just yet, but I wanted to show the report here now that my constructed circle from that plane of 60 thousandths and that feature that I call the Morse taper. Now look, it's testing it up against a nominal here of 1.1. Okay, I do like the way that looks. I'll say OK to that a second. And let me just zoom. Let me just dynamic rotate around the cylinder a little bit just to show you what it constructed. I'll zoom in just a little bit too. It's kind of hard because I've got these constructed planes in. But what you'll notice is there's a circle right here as I'm going around with my mouse. And let me go to Review Features. And I'm going to highlight that red just by hitting View here. See how it's viewing it red now. So that's where I wanted that circle to appear. I do like that. And I'll hit the right mouse key to bring me back to Review Features. And I'll say OK. Now I'd like to construct another one of those circles. I'll go back to the PDF here. Another one of those circles that was at this 269 height and a reference dimension of 1 inch and 89 thousandths is what I'm going to be using as a nominal. So let's go back to the SAT file. And I'll go construct a circle that will be a plane intersect again. Now, the selection of the plane that I want to use is that plane that's at the 269 height. And again, the feature I want to use is that Morse taper. Now, I can move this out of the way a little bit. Say I'm not sure if those were the right features. I don't want to commit just yet. I'll hit the view. 
Notice what it's done is it takes the plane, you'll see the matrix of the plane turned red, and you'll see that I've got the red tapered cylinder, or the Morse taper highlighted here, and it looks like this light blue is the constructed circle. That's through both of those features. Okay, that's what I like to see. So I'm going to hit the right mouse key, and notice that that circle will go away. All right, there we go, and I'll say OK to that. And let me call that the diameter at 269. And now remember the nominal of that diameter was the 1.089 dimension, which is right here on the drawing. So I want to use that as my nominal. So I'll go back to my SAT file. My nominal, 0, 0.0 here is the hand key in. And I want to make that the 1.089 dimension. And I'll say OK. And again, it's labeling it here as a nominal diameter at 269. I'll say OK to that. And under my tolerances, I just want to get rid of everything except the diameter. That's the only thing I want to show. And I'm not going to worry about tolerance just yet, but I'll go to the Report tab, and you'll see how it's comparing that constructed diameter to the nominal that I just hand keyed in. And my deviation is only a tenth of a thou. So that's a pretty good Morse taper at that height. So I'll say OK to that and do a side view again of that. And then what I'd like to do is just show you again here from Review Features, if I've got the constructed diameter at the 269 highlighted, I'll Control key and hit the other chamfer circle and hit View. And notice that they're both turning red now at these two heights, which would correlate back to my PDF drawing here at the 269 height and at that 60,000th. So that's just an easy way of grabbing measured data that you've already got out there and putting constructed circles onto those planes.